hi everyone welcome back to data bracket so today i've created a demo for you guys this is again uh, data engineering specific so what we are going to do is let's say we have an image we want to export the text from that image and we want to take that text chunk that text into smaller units and create embeddings of that chunk text and we will in, uh, insert that embeddings into a vector database we will use QDRENS vector database and QDRENS text uh, embedding library fast embed to generate embeddings and we will uh, import it into the vector database so i have vector database running up here QDREN. we don't have any collections so let me show you guys what we are going to do quick so that you guys will get some idea so i have this image so let me import the utilities first so i have this image from my newsletter channel data bracket and uh, from this image i'm going to extract all the text the text whatever you can see llm can control your computer and phi must github checks for python all of this text from the image will be exported so if i'm to extract the text from this image we can see that uh, this is the warning we can ignore this and we can see home podcast archive about all of these are my buttons here in the nav bar after that we can see llm can control the computer now this is the text from this image now with this text let's chunk this text first into tokens so we can see this text whatever we see here is converted into chunks of smaller size like 100 characters and now let's uh, try to generate embeddings of these chunks so if i'm to run my utils it will generate embeddings we can see the text embeddings are generated for this text and if i am to run the insert now upset command this command will generate the qdrent collection which is vector collection and it will insert that uh, embeddings into that vector database let me refresh the page and we can see we have this image text collection and we can see our text is upserted into this collection as vector embeddings we, and we can perform uh, machine learning operations on top of that vectors so this is a high level overview let me show you step by step how to do this and if you want to see how this utilities or how i have created this wrapper functions you can check out the link in description uh, which will give you a better idea on how this utility functions are created all right uh, here we are in our notebook uh, let me delete the collection first and let's recreate it again uh, delete and we don't have anything now let me minimize this so here we can see that i am using my image from my local and i'm using pytestract library to extract the text from this image so pytestract is a very good library that helps you uh, export text from image uh, let's resize this 1000 by 700 so that it will look a little small and better uh, this should be list i believe wait yeah this has got smaller this is better so yeah uh, this is the text i was talking about inside the image and so we have this pytestract image to string function this is all we have to do to extract text from this image it's pretty simple and very useful and i am opening the image from uh, python's pil package and i'm passing it to this pytestract image to string call and if i run this we can see that it has created the same text which i showed earlier when i ran it through utilities and with this text i'm using langchain's character text splitter there are many text splitter utility functions available in langchain community edition you can check that out but for simplicity and for the sake of this demo i'm using character text splitter and i'm splitting the characters or text based on this new line and i'm keeping the chunk size small because i don't have enough text inside my image so let's keep it smaller so that we will see list elements inside this text so using this text splitter i'm calling the split text function and i'm passing the image content which we extracted using the pytest rack and we can see that this has generated the text chunks and we have a list of 
six up uh, six items and using this i am going to replace or remove new line characters and special characters using this loop inline loop and we can see the the text chunks are created without any special characters which we don't require you can still fine tune it if you want but i just kept it for ampersand and new line i just removed them and with this text chunks now it is time to create vector embeddings so i'm using qdrens fast embed library and qdren to connect to the qdren server so i have qdren running in a docker container you guys can also well run it i'll just show the command to <clears throat> so as you can see we just have to call docker run with port 6333 which is where the docker will run and we have to expose 6.4 6.3 will be for ui 6.4334 will be for something else and i'm using my present working directory as qdren storage i'm not using in memory and i'm calling this qdren docker image from the docker registry and if i run this the docker container will spin up and we will see the qdren database up and running at 6.3 slash dashboard if we hit this url we will see qdren ui and i'm using some inbuilt qdren functions to generate the structure and i'm using distance for the distance function which is dot or you can use euclidean or whatever i'll show what functions are available in a moment so with this imports i am using qdren client and connecting to the url we just saw 6333 qdren is running at that port so i am connecting to 6333 port using qdren client and i am creating a new collection let's name this same image to image text collection and uh, we have a create collection method on top of this client class where we can pass collection name and the vector configurations which is nothing but the vector parameters and size of the vectors we want so most vector embeddings are of size 384 but you can customize this based on the llm you are using and we have dot function for this distance vector where the vector database will place the uh, embeddings based on this distance function we have even euclidean we have manhattan uh, we have basically four functions available manhattan euclid cosine and dot you can pick anything of your choice i am leaving dot for now for simplicity and this has returned true which means we have our collection ready if i refresh in qdren now yeah we can see the collection is ready but we don't have any data points so we have to in insert those data points now so first let's try to create embeddings for our text chunks now uh, as i said i'm using fast embed uh, qdren's fast embed library which gives us text embedding class using this utility i just have to you call this embedding model and embed our text chunks and convert it into a list so that we can pass it to the uh, qdren client so this will this will create the text embeddings you can use any embedding model uh, like uh, open apis yeah, embedding model or anything of your choice and with our embeddings uh, the point here is vector database which is qdren will accept the inputs in key value format since our text is of unstructured type and we don't have any identifiers to like distinguish them i'm simply keeping text underscore the index of the element which is if it is the zeroth element text zero first element text one will be the key to this and the value will be the actual embedding so this is the desired input that qdren expects us to pass so that those te- vector databases have an id for reference so i am created this so that we can uh, upsort our embeddings and if i am to run this this will create a list out of this ids and uh, all the embeddings that we are getting and we will get this output now all we have to do is we can call uh, clients upsort method and pass the collection name and the point items which we just generated and if we run that we can see that the upset operation is completed and the data should be loaded into the database now if we refresh we should see six items yeah we have six points 
all with the different text and these have embeddings you can use qdrens functions locally or uh, in the ui you can use the console or you can even uh, use the python library so that you can read it from your uh, platform of choice so guys i believe this was useful and you uh, learned something out of this please stick to the channel and uh, i'll be posting more videos on uh, ai and data thank you please subscribe if you like the video